Now, your next lesson here with us at the CIA is on information retrieval. This is one of the primary functions of us here at the CIA. So we've gone ahead and taken this lesson and broken it into two pieces so you can make sure that you absorb all the more critical information. There are, of course, two different ways to retrieve information. There's passive observance, which we will go over here in this first section, and then there's the more rigorous information collection. Now, when it comes to passive observance, there are several ways to do this. We can, of course, keep our ears to the ground, which if you remember your vocabulary, you'll know what I mean. And, of course, we can sit nearby, you know, several different ways. We have plants, we have listening devices, we can hang outside of windows all day. The important thing we need to do is to make sure we have the right thing in the right place at the right time. The best way to assure that this is done is to have a lot of different things just kind of blanketing an area. Tapping public phones, email addresses, personal phone lines, anything that needs to get it done. The Patriot Act has made sure that we pretty much have the keys to the city in this situation, but of course you'll learn more about the Patriot Act later on in your lessons. Now one of the easiest ways to retrieve information is through a confidant of the person you are observing. Now there are several ways to turn this person over to your side, including empty promises, threats to loved ones, and good old-fashioned violence. Now if you do resort to violence, that does put the information that you gather in question. And just remember back to your first lesson, if something goes wrong, it was the FBI. Of course, if there isn't a confidant, say you're dealing with some kind of psychopathic loner who keeps to themselves and keeps sharp knives behind them in a workshop in a garage somewhere, then what you're going to want to do is try to install some listening bugs in anything that you can find around the area. Now key places for listening bugs will be gone over by your instructors, but of course a few choice locations include telephones, lighting fixtures, radios, and televisions. Not to mention sex toys, that's how we got Heidi Fleiss. Of course, should planning a bug not be an option either, you could always of course park a nondescript van outside of the residence of the person you are observing with of course your surveillance buddy and put a listening dish right on the residence. Of course, anything you overhear does need to be recorded, but of course that equipment does come with the van. Just make sure that when you do get assigned a van buddy, it isn't the fat guy who likes Mexican food. We've all been there. These are, of course, just a few of the options available to you in passive information retrieval. Your instructors will go over the rest of these with you and also help you through the worksheet that we provided. Now, once the worksheets are done and completed and turned in, we will go ahead and continue the lesson with more rigorous information retrieval techniques. I'll meet you back here as soon as you're done and we'll continue the lesson.